Okay, hello and welcome to Rocket Talk. This is going to be episode two. Behind the camera again today is Agent O. Go ahead and say hello. hello. Uh, I am Agent Snap. Running around here is Agent Exclamation Point, and together we are O Snap uh, of Team Rocket AZ's Voyeur Squad here in Tucson. Uh, today's episode is all about the rocket uniform. You will notice I am reading from a prompt today because um, as per your suggestions, I'm trying to slow down a little bit. I was talking a bit fast in the primer, so um, please excuse the wandering eyes. We're going to stay on point today, and I'm going to make it informational and fun. It's a fun formation. So, um, again, today is all about the uniform. Looking the part is huge when it comes to feeling the part. So we take pride in our uniforms. We look good. Today, uh, I will be talking about the different types of Team Rocket uniforms and how to put together a simple grunt outfit. Uh, now, there are five uniform variants for Team Rocket. We are a very diverse group, and each one, of a, each one of the levels denotes a different rank within the organization. Um, first, there's the basic Team Rocket grunt. Um, female grunt uniform is a simple black dress, large, reg, uh, large red R, gray belt, long sleeves, typically you're probably going to see more short sleeves, uh, gray knee length boots, gray gloves that go up to the forearm, and the black newsboy cap. The male uniform is pretty much the same, uh, except, save for the dress. Uh, I don't like to wear my dress outside. <laughs> it, <laughs> uh, Agent O is back there laughing at me now. Usually we're just going to be wearing a, a long sleeve shirt and black pants instead of the sporty, more, you know, fun skirts that you're going to see all the rest of the lucky girl uni girls in their, their uniforms. Um, and newsboy cap. Most of the other levels don't really wear the, the newsboy, the popular newsboy cap in the anime, but it is uh, uh, noted that all the uniforms are supposed to wear it. So, just up to ch personal preference there. Uh, the basic grunt outfit is what you'll see us in the Voyeur Squad running around in most often. Uh, you know, the, the gray accents and everything. However, uh, the problem with this version is the difficulty in finding the gray accent pieces. Most of the gray accent pieces that we wear, I've actually made because I had a whole lot of gray vinyl laying around. Um, so we're like, yeah, let's just go with that one. Um, but because of the difficulty in finding the pieces, Agent Patio has made the black A-rank uniform the suggested go-to for Team Rocket AZ members, and we'll talk about that one next. Uh, sorry, slowing down. These are the elite variant of the basic grunt uniforms sported by Butch, Cassidy, Domino, Miyamoto, and later in the anime by Jesse and James. Uh, throughout here, you, I've already had pictures popping up. We're going to have some more. Uh, this is the grunt uniform, but the gray accents are replaced with white pieces, sometimes featuring red stripes at the top of the boots and gloves. This is what you will see most of our members running around in. Um, the, the white accent pieces are far easier to get your hands on, and once I get through the next couple of them, I'm going to actually tell you exactly where we get ours. Um, keeps it uniform, keeps it cheap. <laughs> so, then there's the B-rank uniform, most notably worn by Jesse and James, as well as Mondo. Uh, these are the most recognizable uniforms for most Pokemon fans, especially for those who grew up with the original anime. And it's also the one that's the most commented on, uh, because in the original anime, when they first meet, they're like, oh, you're wearing the wrong uniforms. Later on, they started to kind of develop that a bit more, and they uh, made it canon that it was actually the B-rank uniforms. They are the inverted version of the grunt uniforms, made up of white tops and pants, um, or dress for females, with the rocket R on the front. There's a slit in the shirt, they wear black shirts underneath their uniforms, black gloves and boots, but um, none of them feature have been featured really with a hat on besides Butch. Um, the rest of them, sorry I'm saying um a lot, I'm trying to get away from that as well. Most of them again aren't going to wear hats outside of the, the gray grunt uniform. It seems to be more of a personal choice amongst who, whoever's in that uniform. And this White uniform is really one that you're only going to see uh, those cosplaying Jesse and James wearing because they how because of how linked they are to those specific characters, 
And if, you, if someone sees you running around in the white B-rank uniform, they're not going to know, oh, that's the B-rank uniform. They're going to think, oh, you're trying to cosplay Jesse or James, depending on your gender or what you're going, kind of going for. And then remark, well, where's your hair? Uh, you know, where's Meow? Runs into a few problems. But if you can pull that off, awesome. Because I'd like to see that done a little bit more. Uh, next they, on the list here is the Silver A Plus rank uniforms that Attila, Hun, and Tyson wear. This is the one that I actually get the most questions about because people see it, and because they haven't seen it on very many other characters, they are, they're always trying to figure out, well, why do they have a silver one? Um, and I, I think they're cool. They're very flashy. They have, uh, there's two different versions for that. So far, uh, the first being Attila and Tyson's uniform wearing the sleeveless blue undershirt. Silver vest, silver pants, black belts and boots. Uh, they also have blue, um, like, wrist cuffs, but not gloves. The second version is Huns, featuring a long sleeve blue shirt under a short sleeve silver shirt cut just below the chest. Huns pants flare out at the bottom, cover the boots instead of the boots being worn over the pants. That's actually a change that's very unique to, um, to Huns' uniform. I kind of like it. And then the last, the one that I was commenting on um, in the primer, which is episode one, technically, even though it wasn't really a full episode, um, is the trainee uniforms featured in the Training Days episode of the anime. Now, these are very cool. Um, they're not easily recognizable, and it's kind of fun to explain it. Uh, they're very similar to the basic grunt uniform. One version is dark red instead of black. Uh, but to note, the other version that Butch and Cassidy are uh, featured wearing are blue, and they haven't actually... Kind of, uh, they, have, they haven't explained why they were wearing different uniforms. My theory is that the, uh, the different color denotes a class level or training rank, but either way, they look really good and are perfect for younger members uh, um, or initiates to the team. Like, uh, you know, you've got Agent Exclamation Point is going to be featuring one very soon. Uh, any of the younger kids that you want to be running around with you while you're in uniform, it's perfect. Oh, well, they're grunts in training. And then you get to kind of tie in, start pulling them into it, and that's always fun. But for the purpose of today, we're going to be focusing on the grunt and A-rank uniforms that are the most popular. Uh, the most basic uniform is made up of a simple black shirt, uh, black pants, a gray belt, and a newsboy cap. These four items are very common, very easy to find. The newsboy caps you can find online for about five dollars or we found ours actually at a local thrift shop for just like two, three bucks each and we've got tons of them floating around now in different types and styles. This one's fading. I'm going to be replacing it very soon um, but they are very easy to find. And the gray belts a lot of people tend to go for the canvas military, the ones that slide with the metal clasp. They're hard to find in gray, which is one of the good things about the A-rank uniforms. If you're going with A-rank uniform, white belts are a dime a dozen. You can find them everywhere, and instead of having to find a white belt and dye it gray, which was our, um, which was our go-to, we actually you, you could actually just go out and use that gray belt as it is and not have to worry about messing with dyes or anything else like that and you have a bit more options. Um, so we'll just focus the white accents, we'll deal with that later. Right now we're going to focus on you getting your shirt made and the first choice is am I going long sleeve or short sleeve? And this is something that I really didn't think about before I started making my costume so it's very one of those things that I, I, I'm going to stress other people pay attention to. If you are in an area like we are down here in Tucson or you're in Phoenix where it gets to the 110, 110 115 during the summer when uh, Phoenix Comic Con is going on, long sleeve shirt probably isn't going to be the best idea. I did run around in this with my gloves, sealing my shirt up. My shirt was tucked into my pants. I had you know the the layers of socks, belt, shoe or socks, uh, pants, shoes. And I was cooking. I was drenched in sweat by the end of the day and um, made me really rethink wearing the long sleeve shirt during the summer. And I didn't even have a turtleneck on. I, I don't feature a tur turtleneck because I feel like I'm being strangled by a very small person all day long. So um, we do recommend kind of going short sleeve for the summer and having a summer version of the uniform um, if you're going to have a long sleeve shirt, just for your health reasons. Now, if you're, if you're not in Arizona and you're building this, 
you are going to be much better off because you can get away with wearing long sleeve shirts during the summer, unlike unlike us. And I do recommend going that route instead. You can find black turtlenecks at um, a lot of the larger stores that are going to be featured in most areas. We found them at Walmart, Target, and Kohl's just on our recent expedition to kind of cite out facts for this episode. And they were relatively cheap. They were under $10 for each one of them that we were looking at. You can get a normal long sleeve shirt if you're like me and can't really pull off the turtleneck look. These are even cheaper. Uh, $3 at Walgreens was uh, one of the best deals we found. You can find them very easily at thrift stores. And as long as it's cotton, you can put the R on. Or you can go the short sleeve shirt route, which is again easier because that's what... Oh, this camera stopped over here already. That's fine. What Agent O wears is just a cotton short sleeve t-shirt and that works perfectly. People never question, oh, why don't you have a long sleeve shirt on? Well, it's Arizona, there's a reason we don't have a long sleeve shirt on. Then the black pants, any black pants will do. You have a pair of black slacks floating around, congratulations, that, do that part's already done. Um, we don't even really need to go into that any further. The hat, as I was saying, you can find on eBay, you can find on Amazon, you can find at local stores. Those pieces together, you already have a uniform. You don't need to worry about boots or gloves until you figure out, am I going to go with the A-Rank or the Grunt or maybe make one of the more specialized ones. A lot of our Team Rocket AZ members don't even have um, like white boots or gloves. They just wear shoes, like white shoes or black shoes that are very comfortable and um, ditch the gloves entirely. And that works. It's recognizable. People look at them and see, hey, they're Team Rocket. The belt. I, I would recommend having the belt, though. It, almost everyone does, I believe. Right? Yeah? Okay. Next on my list here is to talk about iron-ons versus silkscreen versus fabric paint for putting your R on. All three are very easy ways to get that done. There's no right or wrong answer for it. It's just what you have in mind and what you're going to go with. So we're going to start with the, the most simple of it, which is the iron-ons. And I was going to... We started filming... We started filming it so that we were actually showing you uh, the process of making one. But we realized some of the different iron-ons have different instructions as to how you actually need to put them on. Some of them require you to reverse the image, some of them don't. Um, but a few notable choices, if you do not already have them laying around and you're going out to purchase it, definitely, definitely, definitely get the ones that are made for black fabric. And there are, there are going to be different choices. There's going to be the ones that are for bright and colorful, the ones for white, and the ones for black. Get the ones for black. It's going to save you a lot of time. The red's going to come out much more true, and it's going to look really good. And then just follow your instructions on that. Um, if, if the need arises and you guys actually want me to do a quick run through of that, a bit more informal, I will finish that video for you. But since Agent O decided that she wanted to cut the tip of her finger off, uh, this weekend we didn't get, quite get that finished and decided to go a different route. Um, so next we're going to talk about silkscreen. Most of them that you're going to find online like on Amazon and eBay that are already pre-made with the R on it are going to be silkscreened and they do tend to last a little bit longer than the iron-on or the paint options but they are going to be a bit more expensive so keep that in mind. And if you're lucky enough to already have a home silkscreening press please get in contact with me We'll work out a deal there because we have so many people that are wanting these shirts. We could probably uh, work something out. And the last one, one of them that uh, I didn't even really think about until it was brought up by one of our agents is just using red fabric paint. And um, it seems like a no-brainer, and I'm not really sure like why it didn't even occur to us at all, but that is a very good option for it. The thing that comes to mind is trying to keep your lines clean. So if you are going that route, make a stencil of your R, put it on the black shirt, paint it a couple of times, get a couple of good layers, heat that in according to how your paint is because each one's different, and uh, then show it to me because I want to see how I want to see the uh, you know side by side comparisons of the difference for the quality of that. Um, but Agent Dong, Agent Dong was actually saying that's what she did for her shirt. She loves it. She swears by it, which is awesome. She's also the one that wanted me to point out uh, summer uniforms are a must, which uh, 
We're going to figure that out a little bit more, but short sleeves or tank tops, as long as it's cotton, will be very easy to silk it, put any of these mediums onto it. Um, maybe shorts. You know, girls are already wearing the short skirt, so, or the, the knee length skirt, so they're already pretty set in that department. Um, sorry, on my list here, that way we're not repeating, belts. There's a lot of options for belts, and I already talked about getting the uh, military style ones with the metal the metal uh, clasp in the front. Very good option. But if you go our route and get the ones, I think this one's got a bit of a better, there we go, a bit of a better view of this belt, you can see that we have screws on it. Hmm. These screws are actually to hold our Pokeballs on. So when we've got our belt on, we can have the Pokeballs hanging off of our belt. Looks pretty awesome. These are called web belts. Web belts, sorry, and they're pretty easy to find. You can find some in gray online very easily. Three bucks, I think, is what I found them on eBay, and then it was like a dollar shipping. It, very easy to find. The white ones, you can then dye, which is what we did with this. Comes out really good, and it gives it a bit more of that punk rock look to it, because we're Team Rocket. We're punks. Punk rock. <laughs> uh, next up is shoes. The the boots that you'll see a lot of our agents wearing are actually just found on Amazon. There will be a link, because um, I don't have it actually in my slide right now, but there'll be a link in our comments. I'll probably even show it on the screen. Mm -hmm, maybe right here. Mm -hmm, yeah. And um, those boots are very awesome. That's what, that's what, if you see any of the t uh, Team Rocket AZ members out and they've got white boots on, it's actually these from Amazon. They're comfortable. They do come only in full sizes, not half sizes. That was the one warning that I was, that I found. But they said, wear a couple pairs of socks and you are good to go. They are clean, easy to take care of, um, and relatively inexpensive when you're thinking about what, the fact that you're buying boots. <laughs> so... And then gloves, if you're looking for gloves, I'm also gonna put a link. There's some very cool ones called enforcer gloves on Amazon that work, that fit the part um, made of that faux leather material. And I'm definitely gonna be getting a pair of those next. Otherwise, these are just, these are vinyl cuffs that I made and attached them to cotton gloves that I dyed. If you're not going the gray route, you're going the white route, which I recommend. You don't have to worry about dyeing. White vinyl is very easy to find. Um, you can put your red strip uh, stripe on it right here and right here, and you look you look sharp and classy. So, oh yeah, another note here. We're thinking about doing a little contest, and we want to see um, kind of what you guys think about it for designing Team Rocket bathing suits because every good anime has that you know hot springs episode or the beach episode. Um, and we're definitely going to make a beach episode for you guys. And whoever comes up with awesome ideas... Yeah, she's back there clapping behind the camera. I'm sorry that we, this one uh, stopped. I don't want to get up and... It's out of reach. Um, <laughs> we want to see what you guys would think. Sketch it out, mock it out, um, even if it's made in MS Paint. If it's an awesome idea, we'll, we'll see about throwing it together and having it featured in our Team uh, Rocket Talk Beach Edition or, you know, the summer episode. Because we're pretty, we were talking about that and I think that would be pretty fun. So, that's it. That's, uh, it was a pretty quick episode. I'm trying to keep these a bit shorter for you guys. So, um, yeah. Before we sign off today, I wanted to mention uh, the YouTube channel that we're on is Tau Photography. And they're having a contest right now. So if you live in the Tucson or Phoenix area, you can enter to win, and you can enter in tons of different times. It's not just one entry. Uh, it's for a free on-location photo session, and it includes, it includes a free 8x10 print. That, that's pretty awesome. That's one of the most requested things that people will hear for, or will give us for um, what they want for prizes or freebies from us. So all you have to do to win is share the page. Simple, right? So hop on over to facebook.com slash taophotographyaz. Again, the link will be down here and in our comments below. And share the post with the contest, detail, uh, contest details. Sorry, guys. Liking the page, uh, liking the Facebook page nets you an entry, as does sharing the page, sharing the post that has the information in it, sharing and following the Instagram, sharing and following on Tumblr, 
I think I doubled up my fingers there. I'm sorry, guys. I wasn't even keeping track. And each entry, uh, each one of those gives another entry. So the more the the more you spread that out, and the more times you do it, the more um, days that you share it, the more chances you have to win. You gotta love free and easy, because I know I do. That's it for today's episode, guys. Come and see us live, Rocket Talk filming uh, at the at the live Rocket Talk filming on location at Come Mix It Up July at Maker House, and bring your DS. I finally, finally got one that's working since we found out the hard way. Don't leave your Nintendo DSs in the car in Arizona in the summer. The insides melt. So I'm going to put my friend code down in the links. Feel free to add me. Come on by. I want to battle you with my... <laughs> I've only been playing for a few days on the new version of X, and I love it. My Pokemon are easy to beat, which everyone loves about Team Rocket. Come on down. Battle me. Thank you to Tau Photography AZ. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to this channel and check out the other videos. Uh, leave comments about what you want to see us uh, want to see us do in these videos, and I will get around. I will reply to them, and I will take them into consideration. Um, and hop on over to our Facebook. Give us a like. That's uh, facebook.com/teamrocketaz, all one word. We'll put the link down here again. And if you haven't checked out our new site. Why haven't you? Jump on over there. That's teamrocketaz.org. Again, looks super crisp, super amazing, and it's going to be updated on the regular. Remember, you are awesome, and we love you all. See ya!